Praise the Lord. It's another beautiful Thursday. Please turn with me to 1 Samuel 16:12. It says, Then the Lord said, Rise and anoint him. He is the one. I am sure you already know the context. God desires that Saul be removed from his kingship and instead David be chosen to be the leader of his people. So Samuel, as instructed by God, goes to the house of Jesse at Bethlehem, not knowing who David is. As each one of the seven sons appear before Samuel, he hears a voice saying, I have not chosen him. Finally, the eighth and the youngest son of Jesse, who is an ordinary shepherd boy by the name David, is called to appear before Samuel. Immediately, God speaks to Samuel, Yes, this is the one. Anoint him. God testifies about this David, saying, He is a man after my own heart. What a testimony! And that too coming from God. So what do you think is so special about David? 1 Samuel 13.14 Samuel speaks to Saul, saying, But now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought a man after his own heart. The Lord has commanded him to be a commander over his people. Because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. It is very clear from this verse that God rejected Saul because he did not keep the Lord's command. On the other hand, David was a person who loved God so much that he expressed it by loving God's commandment itself. We see that in the very first psalm which says that the man who is blessed is the one who delights in the law of the Lord. Similar expressions of David are seen in many other psalms too, especially Psalms 119, where David over and over again glorifies God. His word and his statutes and his commandments. Not only did David love God by obeying his commands, he prays that his devotion towards God should be passed on to his generation. 1 Chronicles 29 19, David prays to God for his son Solomon, saying, And give my son Solomon the wholehearted devotion to keep your statutes, commands, and decrees. Obeying God's command is so important to David and also was his nature to fear God right from an early age of his life. And this really pleased God. From the day Samuel anointed David before his brothers, the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. This gave David the wisdom and prepared the way for him to be a powerful king. Dear friends, do you love God? Had King Saul loved God, he would have kept God's commands. Because John 14.15 says, If you love me, you will keep my commands. As we read in 1 Samuel 16.12, Rise and anoint him. He is the one. Are you willing to be the anointed one who will do all what God commands? Then allow God to rule over your life. God is not looking for a perfect you because none of us are perfect. Even David was not perfect. But are you willing to keep God at the center of your life? God's will over your life is more powerful than your own will then you are a person of God's own heart. What a testimony that would be. I started on this journey 
not seeking wealth or fame The only thing I want in life is to bear His holy name I've had my share of problems and trials along the way But when the mountain looks too high, this is how I pray I want to be a man after God's own heart I want to be a man after God's own heart I might stumble at my fall But I'll get back up and hear the call To be a man after God's own heart Some don't understand me They criticize my ways But if they look inside my heart They find something good to say I'm not the one with the proud of thoughts No nail scars in my hands I'm just a man with a real desire To be all that I can I want my prayer Don't